Hi everyone, welcome back to my latest video. I just want to show you something that you might not be aware of, but it's really useful to know. Um, if you don't practice Virtual Pool 4, of course you should, because it'll help you get better. But there is some cool tricks that you can use that you might not be aware of that is really helpful to you. So you click on Quick Play, uh, go to Trick Setup Shot, click up, and you'll come to the game. Press Escape, go Load Save Game, and any game files that you've got saved, you'll be able to use. Now if you set up a drill on snooker, I'll show you how to do that in a minute, and press practice mode. Make sure you press that, otherwise the balls won't get respotted, the colours, when you play. And then if you click on like this one line up, for example, and press T to get rid of the tracking lines, you'll see that I've set myself up a nice practice routine. And, you know, it gets you nice and practised. If you don't practise in real life, if you should, keep you sharp get you better and get you making some really good breaks now there's also another one if you press escape go to quit match if you want to finish go back in you'll have to go back in and then load game yeah so make sure you do that um, and then you've got the t-drill now i'm going to show you the t-drill you recognize it off the thing you can obviously go in and edit the files and move the white to a different place for example uh well actually you can do that anyway before you start you can move the white anywhere you want um, by pressing M and moving the mouse, you don't have to press control, and then you press A and off you go. Now actually here I haven't done something that you need to press, I didn't press practice mode did I? So go to quit match, yes, and um, then you go OK, you go back into the frame, you click escape, load saved game, practice mode, T drill. Uh, you can still move the white again uh, as soon as you do that and then you press A to get the cue back T to get rid of the training lines and you play on and off you go and it will keep your break now just notice for some reason there's nine points there so you've actually got a ten point break I'm not quite sure why that happens guys occasionally it does and it's a little bit weird because you end up with a break if you get a massive century it's actually out by ten points so I haven't clearly haven't got a 24 break or whatever so far um, but there you go it's just something to be aware of but again it's all about practice it's not really about the breaks quit match now you can set up anything on these and i'll show you another one that i've got and um, that i've done which is just a pool one you've got colors off their spots now with this one you don't want to press practice mode because the first shot you take with the snooker is of um and remember to press a so you can move around the first one you hit is with a red so if you played that shot normally Obviously, I missed it, so I'm just messing about. Um, if you hit that in there, it doesn't get respotted, but it'll be a foul because the first shots are red. So it's best just to pot these and just use it as pot and practice. If you pot the blue, for example, now, you're not going to get penalised for a foul. Um, so it's just something to bear in mind. Uh, you know, if you're just practicing again, this doesn't do a great deal for me because nine times out of ten, if I'm concentrating in any way, shape, or form, I'll probably pot these. My blacks off the spot are not always great. Um, but anyway, last one I'm going to show you is the one that I've made. And you can make loads of these guys. Is the pool square. And again, don't press practice mode because this is more of just a pot and drill. So you just want to pot all the balls. Again, press T. You can move the white around to where you want to start from. So for example, if I want to start inside, press A. And away you go. And you can do this one this is a good drill if you just practice on your own in a pool club you can set this one up and you can just play down appleton did one where you put one on every spot and tried not to hit any of the balls you can do that or you can just literally hit cushions or whatever i sometimes try not to hit a cushion and um, which is quite a challenge and um, it's quite <clears throat> fun to do it was on vp4 obviously i'm trying to <coughs> excuse me trying to make my life a little bit more tricky to to add an extra dimension of challenge onto my play um because it otherwise it can feel reasonably easy now this might be quite hard not to hit a cushion i think i've cocked it up <laughs> is he going to hit a cushion no i think i might struggle not to now Oh dear. Yeah, I think my cushion, I think my cushion, uh, don't know if I can not hit the cushion with this ball. I think I'm going to, yeah, damn it. 
Oh well, never mind. Um, but yes, that's this is a good fun drill to do. And again, it, because if you left, if you pressed play mode and you did this, well, if you potted it, black frame will be over. Um, so it's just something to bear in mind. Now, I want to show you how to actually set your drills up. So you want to go to whichever drill you want to do. So let's say, for example, you want to do a a black ball drill, right? I would recommend hard times because the light the light's good. You'll notice it. Now, what, what I'd usually do is break the balls. The reason I do that, guys, is because once you've brought the balls, it's easier to move them around. The light yellow one's probably going to go in, but we'll... So if, it, if that does happen, and you want that ball back, click Escape, click Spot Remove Balls, and click it back on the table. Click OK, and it'll go back. Get rid of the training lines by pressing T, and what you want to do is hold down M, and you'll get that circle, you'll get that cross thing above the ball, that green thing. If you're not sure what ball you're over, lift the mouse up and it'll be over the ball. Then you want to click the H key, H for hotel, and move around. And you'll go over the ball and you just press M to move it. And you can move it wherever you want. If you want to do a drill where balls are over the pockets, you could do that. And then you press H, drop it, it'll go to the nearest ball. Yep, I'm on that one. Pull that one there, for example. You want to make it so it's a challenge, you know, and then, and then you can kind of, for example, we'll just set one up where there's two over each bag. So we'll just do that and we'll make them all yellows, we'll make yellows appear and we will do reds, so let's just press an M and H, M and H, M and H. Now, now there's actually a little trick that I'm gonna show you um, in order to save the shot, because if you start what, 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 what you'll know oh, I've got the ghost ball on there by mistake press G if you lose the, if you want to lose the ghost ball um, so let's say we want to get rid of the rest of these balls here what you'll find is if you spot remove balls you don't know which one they are so the very the, the easiest way to do it to speed your, your life up a little bit is to get the balls that you don't want and just line them up <laughs> for potting <clears throat> keep those ones you got the, this one doesn't matter which uh oh, i've pressed g again idiot uh gotta watch not press g uh just set this up uh, i'll do a nice line and we do this and we do this and we press g so we've got one to get rid of those balls then we oh no don't do that that's m and then you press h go back over the white come up press a and then what we can do here is just gradually pot these balls um, as quickly as we can. Now it's probably gonna, and again, we don't need to, and then whenever we don't, we just move the way back, we just press A, we, we pot the balls and we press A again. We move the ball, press A, we just knock them in. Um, we can go H, move this yellow right over the bag that red sorry oops a and then we move the and i see you've got to go h over the white if you're going to move the white just learning there on the fly so then then you just want to go pot them both balls and then you've got your drill so then you just want to move the white to a decent position um press a and then save shot save game name it so you've got a uh, easy black ball drill right save and then let's load save game and just put the um the colors off the spots on so we're now on a snooker table as you can see and then if you load save game we'd leave it off practice mode because we don't want to be getting fouls if you put different color balls uh, we have easy black ball drill we press t and then we just start potting balls over the bags now as you can see it hasn't took very long to do that and it's actually you know quite a fun drill so if you guys would like me to set a few drills up feel free to send me at virtualpool 4 gmail.com a picture of any drill that you like the look of any snooker drill and uh, i'm more than happy to um create it on virtual pool 4 and because i get to practice it i love doing the lineups when i'm at work and i've got a few minutes spare and i want to break i sometimes just fire it up and play now as you can see there you end up with just the white on the table but that's good because then you can just you know try and pot the white and be fun anyway that's it guys that's all for this video i hope you enjoyed it 
I hope you enjoyed the uh, how to set up trick shots and how to set up, well not trick shots, but practice drills. And I'll see you guys on the next video.